Hello, I am Pat Lafreda, and today I'm going to be answering some questions for the Series Eats community. MT2112 asks, what is the proper way to bone out a whole bone-in ribeye? I have two bone-in ribeyes and I am cooking them for Christmas Eve and would like to cook them boneless. This is a bone-in ribeye. The only reason that you would ever buy this bone-in is to use the bone in some capacity. So we're gonna remove the bone and then we're gonna put it back on for cooking purposes. Keep in mind that the bone is crescent-shaped, yet your knife is straight. So we're gonna start by inserting our knife right above those bones and sliding it straight down, almost as if we're shaving those bones off. And on the last bone, I'm gonna continue with the knife all the way down to the end. This is where a knife most commonly slips off the bone and you can hit your non-dominant hand with it. Once we make that first initial slice, we're gonna to start to peel the rack of ribs off the primary muscle. Because it's crescent shaped, we'll need to make multiple slices. We're gonna slide down, not interrupting the main part of the muscle. We're just taking this rib slab off. So after every slice, we wanna give it just a little pull just to separate that bone from the meat and make sure that we're not interrupting the muscle with the knife. Once we get down to the end where it's nearly off, the rib bone towards the chine bone takes an extreme left turn. Peel that rib back and then change the direction of our knife to go right across the top of those bones, right where the chine bone was removed. And that's how you remove the rib bones. A favorite way that my dad would make a whole prime rib at home was to remove these bones and then to put them back on for the cooking process. When it's done cooking, this can just be removed, eaten separately, and then you have your boneless ribeye. So we'll put this rib back on, we'll take our butchering string, and then we're just gonna go in between each of the seven rib bones. And right there where we see those two rib bones end, we're gonna make our first butchering knot, and we wanna make sure that the knots all end up in the same place, which will make a great plate presentation. Now what my dad would do is, once he would remove the bones, he would then season with salt and pepper the entire inside of this, and then put the bones back on top. So while it was roasting, it was actually seasoning and marinating the meat in its own juices. So that's our last knot. This will keep this roast nice and secure. And on the opposite side, you could just even out the strings, just with your finger, and this will be your bone in boneless ribeye roast. This is Pat Lafrida. Happy cutting.